So let's take a look at some John Haggerty pad work. This is from a fight camp in the past, video taken from the Scion Boxing YouTube channel. Go check them out and give them a follow. So John trains out of the Knowlesy Academy and the Lyndon and Christian Knowles, two brothers, both former heavyweight fighters. And I think Lyndon's dropped all the way down to like cruiserweight now, it's crazy. He slimmed right down. Very, what's the word? Uh, iconic man, because he wears a bowler hat and he has a big mustache. But Christian, I think Christian's the older brother. He was a really good fighter himself. I watched him fight live way back, talking like 15 years ago. And because he's a heavyweight, he's a very sturdy pad man. And the, the best thing you're gonna get out of that for someone like John, who's fighting at like 61 kilo, I think, maybe even 57 at this point in time or 59, he's, he's a lot smaller than Christian, put it that way. Christian's not gonna move backwards. And that means that John is gonna be able to hit the pads with full power and Christian's gonna absorb all the impact and it's gonna be much harder for John. It means that the pad work is gonna be way more intense because there's no give on any of the techniques and it's gonna make John a lot fitter. So Christian's got the belly pad on, he's got his tie pads. But something I noticed with John's pad work straight away is they constantly transition from repetition, just doing the same technique over and over again, like a switch kick or a push kick into a bit of free flowing combinations. So the pad work here, you can see John is very fast, he's very explosive, and he's very powerful for his weight class. So the Nolsey gym love tricks, they love feints. John's really good at feints, especially off of the lead leg push kick, and you'll see him just go through and cycle through a load of them in this pad work session. plugging Christian to the body and then he's, I think he wants, it. there you go, an uppercut cross on the back of that and a big left kick. Christian hits him back, John blocks, and then there's a little drift to the side, changing stance. So it's free flowing stuff. Christian's reacting to what John wants or what he thinks John wants. That's the, a sign of a really good partnership. You can tell they've done a lot of rounds together. Then they'll move on to a specific sequence of, of faint techniques and uh, you know, Christian will want certain things from him. Maybe it's a fight game plan specific to the opponent that they're facing, or maybe it's just John's overall game. I think a lot of the time they're just focusing on getting John a lot better, making John be the best version that he can be, rather than specifically focusing on an opponent or building around an opponent. I think when I, when I watch John fight, he's always pretty much the same, but he's just gonna be a bit sharper every time. I think he's continually improving, and then the dynamic of these two working together, they've built up a really good understanding of where they're at. So I think they know, know each other, not just physically in terms of like where John's at with fatigue, but mentally where he's at. If John's going to be mentally tired, if John's going to be, if John's particularly sharp or if he needs a little bit of a push. And you, you see in the corner work between them, yeah, Christian's very motivational rather than technical. I mean, there is going to be some technical advice, but usually on the, on the fight night, he kind of gives John you know, you be you, you, it's your ring, you be the boss. And I kind of like that. All the work being done in the gym, really, you might need a reminder on a few things or, you know, Chris might spot a few things, but a lot of it is just basically getting John to be the best version of John. I like a lot of the fakes from Knowledge and there's loads of good ones that you can steal and, and draw yourself. And it, it's laid out in a blueprint here, like Simon Boxing's done a, a brilliant job of getting in there and getting to what he calls raw rounds, which means it's pretty much unedited apart from maybe a few pauses or rest between rounds, he cuts them out. But most of it is just kind of almost live of, of what John would actually be doing. So a lot of his fakes are coming off that lead leg and you'll see him often teep Christian to the leg with, with his lead leg and that's getting used to disrupting, always giving your opponent something to think about. So if you were hitting pads with your pad partner, you need to build up to this level of understanding. You can't just do it in your day one. I've helped pads people in the past and they straight away, they start faking shots to me or like pretending to hit me in the head. It's not really very cool, if I'm honest with you, it's quite annoying. <laughs> Whereas if I've trained you for a long time, then you can maybe get away with a few more things or I'm gonna start reading situations that you want, little fakes. But for the most part, it's, it's gonna be asking for specific call outs. You'll notice John as well, he does something which I really like and I think people can incorporate a lot more into their own pad work is he starts from really far away and he gets used to covering a lot of distance. 
So you'll see when he left kicks, he almost springboards across the entire ring, and that's something in fighting that people take for granted. The padman's always directly in front of you. You get used to the person never kind of running away or moving or retreating, whereas Christian obviously will stand miles away sometimes, and John will have to kind of fake his way in there, like do, do a big jump to be able to land his elbow or get himself into range somehow, like a big spring, big distance closer into his left kick by skipping forward with it. Here we can see Christian testing John's reflexes by getting him to kick and then lean back out the way of a punch and counter. That's a, another thing I really like is getting used to being evasive after you've just hit. You're most likely to get hit with something when you're opening up. So it's a good idea for the padman to incorporate drills like this into their, their pad work and into their training. I also like these specific sequences of combinations that John puts in with the belly pad, like Christian will hold like an uppercut cross and John will automatically hit the body on the back of that. And that's the advantage of having a belly pad. But once again, this is something that your pad man will kind of have a, built with you over time. It's not something where you just hit your, your pad man willy nilly. Like if I just go into Thailand, go into a gym and just smash my pad man without him kind of asking and it hurts him, he'll be really pissed off, rightfully so. So this is like, unique to to their partnership they're able to do things that you know you're not just gonna be able to do for a long time it takes years to get to this level of proficiency and understanding of what each other want and expect so there's a oh, that left kick is just amazing you just practice it all the time and Knowles is really big on power like a uh, Christian he really want you can see the look in his face the way he's you know He's excited, he wants John to hit hard, he wants him to hit fast, he wants him to hit sharp. And that translates to when John fights, he practices how, how he wants to compete, which is explosive, fast, sharp, particularly in the early going. So Lyndon, you know, Christian's getting him to dig deep in these rounds, getting him to get the repetitions in and getting him to have sequences where it's free flowing and John's gonna have to pick his shot and you know, Christian's kind of guessing what he wants. I think they probably also have some some things that they've done many times so maybe there's like after the uppercut cross they're going to be coming down to the body after that maybe that's something that they, they just know they've told each other after this shot I always want the body shot so now we're coming to the end of the session and christian's just getting him to do repetition drills just for some shoulder endurance just some for some punch endurance just repetitious straights and repetitious uppercuts for what a minute or however long the time is left and this is just to finish off and put that extra little bit of gas in the tank for John. There's not much really going to be science upon this. I'm sure John's also got a very good strength and conditioning program outside of this, but if you want to get more efficient at punching and punching for longer, then just punch more. And that's this type of drill. It's what Mayweather will do on the bag and with his hand mitts with, when, he, when he was with his dad and his uncle back in the day. Just getting that continuous flow and being able to keep their shoulders pumping sharp and fast, good technique, hands, hands coming back to the chin. And uh, yeah, just puts a little cherry on the cake of, of, a, of a good training session. That is a little insight or a little breakdown on some John Huggerty training. Probably went on some tangents about the background, maybe why they're doing things more, maybe of the philo philosophical side of it, rather than just focusing on the sheer techniques. I think you can watch the techniques and break them down, but it's kind of understanding why they're doing it and how they've got to this point. It's not just something that you can turn up to the gym and go, I'm gonna hit the pads exactly like John Haggerty and his trainer. It's like, you can do that with your friend, literally take the drills, take the fat and incorporate them into your own training. But then to get to the level of freestyle flowing, you're gonna to have to just put in the time. And John Haggerty and his trainer have clearly put in a lot of hours together. And that's why it's just so fun to watch. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. You can follow me over on Patreon. Everyone on Patreon, a massive thank you from me and I hope you enjoy the content over there. Pro striking out, I'll catch you later.